hello guys and welcome back to the channel and in today's video i'm going to show you how to build this ui over here so i was just going through dribble and i found this renting app design concept and i thought it would be cool for me to show you guys how you can build a ui like this now in this video we are going to look at the general layout of a ui like this how we are going to lay out our widgets if we want to build something like this and in the next videos we are going to look at how to actually build these pages so let's get right into analyzing what we have in front here so i've already downloaded this image and i'm going to open it here right so let's look at how to build something like this right starting from the first home page so if you want to build a ui like this you first look at the top part and you look at the widget in flutter that can suit this top part now looking at this we can consider this as the abba of our ui so depending on how this ui was made to scroll this could either be in the abba right or it could be in the body so if it's supposed to scroll together with the body then it's supposed to be in the body if it's something that has to be fixed then it's going to be in the abba so in the abba we are first looking at this being the leading right and then we can put a custom widget here which we are going to design something like a chip and this is going to be for the title now this will be a widget within our actions so our badge and the notification icon would be a widget within our actions and the actions is found in the abba now anything uh, after that is going to be in the body with the exception of our bottom navigation bar so this is just going to be a text and of course based on how this ui was made to scroll we will have either a big list view um coding all this widget right or we are going to just have this also as a portion that has no scroll right so for me what i'm going to assume is all these parts must scroll and then we are going to have this as a separate part which we will get there very soon so imagine you have a very big list view here right that's the first widget within the body so we are going to have a text which is just going to be a heading and then we are going to have another list view that scrolls on the horizontal axis if you watch most of my videos then you should know how to implement something like this you first need a list view that has the scroll direction set to horizontal and then also you constrain the list view so that you don't get bounding errors right so vertical viewport has been given an unbounded height it's an error you can come across if you are dealing with nested scroll views so that is going to be it for a list view like this and then we are going to have this card right with custom background an image and then a text so this you can design this with a container or a, an actual card um, widget it depends on what you are trying to achieve now after this um vertical scrolling sorry horizontal scrolling lazy view we come to this section of the page this section can be a container right so a container that has a border radius like this and then a background color which is this white thing so i want this whole portion to be able to scroll as well so i'm not going to use the bottom sheet property in the scaffold so some of you can go for the bottom sheet property in the scaffold but that's not going to be scrollable because i want this to scroll uh, alongside the main page i'm just going to use a container within the main list view we have and then i'm going to curve this portion right using the border radius property of the decoration and we are going to have a row with a text and then there is going to be a text button that leads to a different page and as we had previously here which is um a horizontal scrollable list we are also going to have same over here and this time around we are going to have um, our card with the image and then the rating and then we are also going to have um, the text which is the name of the product and then our price and everything like this in a column so this ui will be like a column one big um, column and then you have your image and if you want to have this background you can use a container and then a decoration image 
um, this kind of stuff are easy to create you just have a container with a background that you put an image in it and if you want to have this type of icon button on top of the image uh, you can either use a stack widget or you can use a container with the child being this icon right and i have a video that i will link in the description that talks about how to create a ui like this so we are going to have this uis and they are going to scroll on the horizontal axis after that we are going to have this text just um, below that and then we are going to have this card now to design this card is going to be easy what we are going to do is we first have this container and then everything in it is going to be in a row so when you are building a ui what you have to look out for is what is the flow of the items within the particular portion of the ui i'm considering so for instance if i'm considering this portion of my ui what is the flow of the items in it so you realize that they flow from top to bottom as in we have this uh, image over here with a the container then we have a text then we have another text right so that's the layout algorithm you should be thinking about now when we talk of this one over here we realize that everything is moving from left to right so we first have the image and then we have some text then we have this icon here right so in order to create something like this you know that you first need to have a row that's the primary direction the items are moving they are moving in a row and then we have your image and as a child of the row you can have a column right so then we are considering just this portion of the ui so you have a column and then we have your text and another row so if you want to build this kind of complex ui um, it's just simple you have to break them down into smaller widgets just the smallest widget you can represent in flutter so over here i realize i can represent all of this in a row this with an icon and then um, a text right and then maybe a star then within this big row i'm going to have this icon button right so that is going to be it for the first page and then we have our bottom navigation bar over here and we are going to look at how to create this custom bottom navigation bar so in the next page which is um product details page we are going to have our back button here and this back button will be given to us automatically by flutter we'll move to a new page and then we are going to have our title as well as our um, favorite icon button here in our actions right now over here we are going to have an image of our um, product and how we are going to create this is realize that this is uh, an image that can scroll right so instead of using something like a list view or maybe just anything that scrolls we can use a page view right now when we use a page view what that means is we can scroll this portion of the ui like a page and then we can use a dot indicator to show the active page if you don't want to go through all the stress um there are packages that you can use for this but i'm not going to go into package i'm going to look at how to do this natively in flutter so we are going to have our image in a container just like we had over here and we are going to put this um, widget in a chip so we are going to have this in a chip um, i mean this one over here right as well as this and then this and if you look at how they are flowing you should know that we are going to use everywhere and get somewhere here right now down here we are going to have our dots indicators and then below it we are going to have the user details so all these are going to be in a row if you look at how they are flowing and then within this row we are going to have the user avatar we are going to have a column like this and then we have our text and then our rating as well as um, a button all right an icon button that goes to a page we currently don't have so i think that's going to be this page and then we have um, other cards over here which are all going to be in a row form now we're also going to have this which um, for now i don't know if it's going to be a button but we can create um, a list style right you can use a list style for this and then we are going to have a button here okay. so this is going to be the flow for the product details page now we come to the profile page it's going to be similar uh, we are going to have our more button here icon button over here and 
I'm thinking this UI has been scrolled, right? So the image seems to be uh, on the same level as the back button and then the more button, right? So we're also assuming that this app bar has no um, background color. That's why it's transparent like this. And then we are going to have our avatar here. Then we have our text. So all this is going to be in a column. And then we have our um, text and icon in a row like this. And then we are going to have this ones two in a row. Right. Now we come here, it's still the same thing. We are going to have this stuff in a row. So these cards are going to be in a row. And we have our um, circle avatars and then our text in a column within the card. Right. And it's going to be the same for the items here as well. Now when we get to this portion, well, this is not uh, a bottom sheet, right? So it's just a design for bottom sheet, but there's not something that you can push up and down. At least we don't have a prototype for it. So I'm going to assume it's just a UI, which we have um, a small widget over here. And then we have this shape here as well, right? And within this, maybe we can scroll if the items are more. So we are going to have a list view here. And we are going to have this list style so this is going to be a list style right and then we are having a leading we are having some title we have some subtitle and then we are having other things to the right so that's going to be the general flow of the ui right so if you're thinking of how you can break down a ui like this then this is how you are going to do it right this is not the only way you can do it but this is one way you can um, break down a ui like that now in the next video we are going to look at how to build these pages from scratch. So I'm going to take you through how to build these pages one step at a time. Right? If you like this video and you want to see me build this page from scratch, then please like the video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe as well so that you don't miss it when I finally release that video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.